Welcome back to the Scorecast, and it's Tim and Jacko here. This is um, beginner's ring workout part one, and we're going to look at um, some rowing movements to try and help balance out um, the shoulder for more the sort of pushing exercises we're doing. And one of the key parts we're going to have in it is some horizontal rowing, so that we're going to be rowing in this plane rather than just in, in our pull-ups and our vertical positions to try and balance out some of all that, that, that pushing we do in those pull-ups. Um, to help balance out that shoulder. So we're working some of the posterior delt, we're working that shoulder wave retraction, get those shoulders healthy in good positions. One thing I love about the rings, guys, is we can literally take them anywhere. If you've got something to hang them from, you're, you're good to go. You've got a full body workout for, what, 15, 20 quid these will cost. So we get to use these outside today, the sun's shining, and that's always a priority for us. But we still use these in the gym. So if you can get a set, you've got loads of options for your pulling work. We do so much pushing, these were a great solution to make sure we've got balance in our training program. Yeah. So follow along. We've got five exercises for you. Let's get into the lesson now. Okay, so the first exercise is going to be a bodyweight row. So what Tim's going to do is going to be like the lower Tim goes, the harder he's going to make this. So he's going to change his foot position to make it um, more or less difficult for him. So if he walks his feet back, as he starts to go and put a bit of an angle, that's going to make it easy for us. So as a beginner, we're going to start somewhere up here and you can progress by walking your feet forward. A couple of key points before we even get into the rowing movement is, he's got his abs tight like he's ready to take a punch and his bum's on like he's squeezing a 50 pound note between his butt cheeks. And that creates that nice trunk and body alignment. From there, he's going to try and set the shoulder. So he's going to squeeze the shoulder blades back. Imagine he's pinching a pound coin between his shoulder blades whilst not losing midsection. So he's not going to just squeeze the shoulders back and create a, an arch in that lower back. He's going to make sure he's keeping that core and glute engagement together. So he squeezes the pound corner between his shoulder blades, and then his job is to try and drive the elbow back behind him. That's going to move him towards his hand. So the job is not to bring your hand to your chest, it's drive your elbow back to your side, and that is then keeping the head of that humerus or the, your shoulder in a nice position rather than it coming forward. If we try, him shows us a bad one, if he tries to just pull his hand towards his shoulder, you're encouraging, you're telling yourself to bring that shoulder forward, which is what a position we don't want to get into. So he's driving the elbow back, he's just finished on the going and drives the elbow back. That shoulder stays in a nice position, securely in the socket, and that is our body weight row. The next move we're going to have a look at is a body weight reverse fly. Now this is one of my absolute favorites because it gives us a load of stimulation for the posterior delta. It's this guy at the back of the shoulder. And what that does is really creates a nice balance around the shoulder structurally and aesthetically, but it also provides a huge amount of stability while the shoulder's working. And if we want to start to get in some decent muscle up positions, we're going to need to be strong out here. And that's what the posterior delta is going to help us with. So an absolute essential for me. Really easy to set up. We're going to have the feet a little bit further back than what we did on the body weight rows because we're working in a biomechanically more difficult position. So Jacko comes back, his same principle with tight front and back. He's then just going to keep the hands and thumbs facing up and he's going to just going to squeeze that pound core in between his shoulder blades and come out as if he's going to make an, a T position, nice and tight in that midsection here, and then just lowers back under control. That's the one thing that I see done really badly with these is people just pull up pretty well and then collapse and we never really get that eccentric component. We don't train that deceleration. And that's a really important function of what we want this stabilizing shoulder musculature to do. Nice and easy, drop them back in. Great exercise, get them in your program. Next up, we start to bring those two exercises together in what we call an archer bodyweight row or an archer row using the ring. So Tim's gonna get all the same cue. So shoulders are engaged at the back, squeezing the pound coin, core and bums on to keep that alignment. And then one side is going to row with and the other side is going to take out into that sort of reverse fly position. What's really important here is that we're active on both sides. So it's not just working on the one side where you're driving back with. Both sides are pulling. You're combining those two exercises together and making sure, just like on the reverse fly, we're controlling on the way down. We're keeping good position of the shoulder throughout. And the whole time he's keeping that nice body alignment, starting to build up a little bit of coordination between arms doing different things, which is going to help us for some of our other calisthenics progressions, particularly in like our human flags. So next up, we're going to look at some pull-ups, an absolute calisthenics staple, and a great progression if we're looking for some ring muscle at work is just getting some, some reps in the locker here with our rings over a tree or bar, whatever it might be. So this, the setup's pretty simple. Jacko's just going to grab the rings in a normal grip. As he then starts to pull through, he's just going to make sure he's staying strong in the middle and he's screwing those hands in so he makes a neutral grip position at the top. He then comes back out, 
pulls back through again holding tight in this midsection getting full range a nice little contraction at the top and then just lowers back through real simple move massively effective and we can just put some sets and reps of those together so if you're still working towards your first pull up we've got a video which you can check out with a load of different ways that you can start to build that up but one simple way we're just going to show you with the rings now is if you're working outdoors like this and you want to start to get some work in you haven't got bands or anything with you all you're going to do is just jump from the bottom position up to the top try and catch it and then just perform an eccentric portion of the movement so you just can lower through just training that deceleration that's going to build some more global strength in the muscle and that's going to help you then to start to work towards the actual pulling through the full movement as well on those just really important that we're making sure we're getting tension on the way down we're not just free falling so i'm not jumping to the top getting to here and then falling down um, and it could even tag some of those onto the end of you if you might do six pull-ups then you might chuck on four eccentrics to make up your 10 if that's the sort of rep ranges you're trying to hit perfect Okay, and then the final exercise is a little bit like that progression with the archer row, but it's going to be in the pull-up position. So it's a nice little progression for those that want to eventually get on to any uh, single arm pull-up type of work. So Tim's going to do the exact same thing as in the pull-up. So he sets down, he sets the shoulders first, so he screws them in, pinching pound corners and shoulder blades, and then he's driving up but taking the arm out to the side, and then he comes back down. So he's pulling on one side, and he's driving the arm out on the other trying to keep that control the whole time. Big thing on this is just gonna be taking that arm out to the side. Don't think that, that that arm isn't doing anything. They're both working as hard as each other, trying to keep you in control as much as possible. A nice variation for you that are pull-ups fine, pull-ups easy. Chuck some archer pull-ups into your program. You'll soon find that you don't need to grab that weighted vest or weighted, um, a weighted belt to make your pull-ups harder. Might just finally rotate a bit if you, bar if you branch it straight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> don't worry about that. So if you've got a set of rings guys and you've got a few exercises which you can use, you can really get a great workout. The pulling strength is such an important part of calisthenics and there's five exercises. You can make those more difficult by changing foot position or adding a low, but for most of those actually, just putting some volume in is a really good way to start to get some progression. Yeah, if you haven't yet subscribed, make sure you click that up there. If you haven't got a free beginner's guide and those that are watching this that are beginners and you haven't got it, you need to get that's down there. That's free, it's gonna give you everything you need to get started. And then finally, if you haven't seen one of our other lessons, that's up there. Until next time, guys, class dismissed.